everyone welcome to another video this is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video we will discuss how we can update existing templates word templates that we use in Dynamics 365 in quotation you can see there is a export to PDF button right when you click on export PDF button in it actually downloads a PDF template for this quotation so this is my quotation I will click on export to PDF here as soon as you click on export PDF, if you see code summary or print code customer, you will see this template that is displaying at the right side in the preview mode. You can download it in your desktop and you can see what content is there in this template, right? So this, this is a PDF and in background, there is a word template that actually generates a PDF due to this export PDF functionality. Now, if somehow, if I want to update anything on this template, how I can do that? There is no out of the box functionality to do or to update this template. So we have to use XRM toolbox uh, to do this. If I want to add a, lo add a logo here in this template and if I want to add a footer uh, in this template, so how can I do that? So to do that, we have XRM toolbox, which is giving us that flexibility to do this. So open your XRM toolbox, you can install it from internet and go to tools, go to start page and click on open tools library. Here you have to search template. Whenever you search template here, it will show multiple uh, tem document template tools. You have to open the document template manager option. Okay. Now as I have already installed, it will display the, the item but in a disabled mode right so let us search here template so you can see here the fourth option is displaying document template manager and it is disabled as i have already installed it is in disabled if it is not installed uh, it is enabled you can install it right so once you install it if you go to tools it will display here as a list item double click this to open this it will connect to your environment dynamics 365 online environment and you will find if you have not connected you have to connect it and it will retrieve all the document templates that are part of your environment here you can see this is my code summary template that i have used i want to edit this so select this code summary and click on download template choose your location of your local machine to download that template and as soon as you download that template you can go and open that you can see here i have already downloaded so it is renamed so let me delete other things and rename the same thing as quotation summary as there was a quotation summary in the same folder it is renamed as quotation summary one so let me open this always remember to keep the name same can you see that this is the quotation uh, template that has been created in background okay so i want to add a logo here so i will go to insert click on picture and uh, once i will click on picture it will display this device i want to upload the logo from my device from from my laptop and uh, i can select this and i can just cut out or uh, crop it according to my need so let me crop this okay now once it is cropped it will fit into that section let me drag and drop okay so so let me once more crop it from the left so that it will be better right so now i have given i have attached my logo to this template i also go to the footer to add a uh, static text so this is a system generated uh, footer let's say system generated code okay that much so you can keep anything you can also make it dynamic you can pull data from quotation and uh, display here like in the body we have already given uh, the templates now once done once the attachment is done you can also uh, show the grid view option so that it will display where your grids are there for this table how this table is designed now i want to add another field here then i will go to xml mapping field mapping pen in the developer tab if you don't find developer tab go to file option go to options panel here you have to go to customize ribbon and if you click on customize ribbon it will display all the 
tabs that are part of your application and you can see this is ticked, ticked developer is ticked but for your uh, case it is not if it is not checked check that and click ok then you can see this developer option now i want to display a field here so click on xml mapping go to the custom xml part right side choose the quotation line that is displaying 1084 so choose this template now once you choose this all the fields that are part of your quotation entity will display here now you can add any field from this list to your template I want to display created on for example so I will search created on I want to display the date here okay so I will just right click created on and just right click and uh, so I will search created on insert content control and click on plain text okay now this template field is added here now I will save this uh, template and I will go back to the XRM toolbox and upload the same template so click on upload upload template choose the file that you have updated this is my file so I have clicked it is prompting you that this will override the content of the document template right code summary do you want to uh, override yes click yes if you want to continue because it is overriding the existing template so you have to be careful so click on yes as i want to update i will choose yes as soon as i click yes i'll go back straight through uh, straight to the quotation and try to click on export to pdf and i'll select the code summary immediately i can see my updated template here because actually this pdf is pointing to the word template that has been updated so if you open this the pdf file will display like this and also you can see the footer information as i have added right so i hope this helps and uh, uh, as there is no out of device functionality to update you can do this using xrm toolbox so if you are using uh, if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe this channel because i am preparing videos every day and you will get benefited in all these videos in dynamics 365 and power platform space so thank you for your time and if you are you, you want to join as a member to my channel join join my channel so that you can also watch uh, member only videos thank you